Hello, it's Sarah, and this is going to be May's art journal page. May's page of the month, right? One month, uh, one page a month. We bind it all together at the end of the year, and this month's is going to be with dotting. So this is kind of what we're going to do. I'm going to recreate this. Um, all I've done is cut a piece of mi mixed media paper down to a six by nine inch piece and then I base coated it with just a matte black paint and we're gonna get started. I have a chalk pencil so I'm gonna just kinda get the layout. We're gonna put our butterfly up here and so I'm just gonna draw this on here it's kinda looking different than my other one did I loved my other one too. So I can change it because this pencil is erasable. So this kind of looks like a heart. Like that. And then this one will go like that. And you can eat, you can use um, Q-tips and you can take the chalk pencil off. And at the end, I think I'm going to um, put a coat of matte medium on it. So we'll dot his little body. We're going to have three flowers. I'm going to put one kind of low down here, one in the middle, one up high, and one like right about here. And then we're going to have stems that come down as well. On these, this one well, let's just do it. I don't know if I want them to crisscross this time. I'm going to do this one straighter. And I'm going to put a nice leaf here and another leaf here. You guys can design this however you want. Um, but I think that's basically it. I'm going to do like six petal flowers, six or eight, it depends. And I'm going to use blue, pink, and purple as the flower colors. So you want variations of those colors. And then a couple different colors of green. I'm going to use yellows and oranges for the butterfly. Um, so yeah, I think we can get started. <clears throat> I'm also going to be using mainly a stylus for my dotting. But I definitely am going to need a little, a few bigger dots as well for the center. So I am using this. I want to say they're called, oh man, I can't think of the name of them. They're by Sue Somebody. I got these at Joann's and I meant I'll figure it out. And um, my, the packaging isn't here, so I can't remember who it is. But these are crochet hooks and they um, have flat bottoms that go down in size. So they're really nice for dotting. All right, I also have, this is just the lid to my um, water bucket. So it, if you have one of those, you can use that. But they, all, they sell them in all different kinds of shapes, um, big and little. Um, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is, I think I'm going to do my blue flower first. I really like these blues. Um, so I'm going to get like three three or four different blues that kind of are going to go up in um, darkness, right? Shake them up good. These are just regular acrylic craft paint. There's a lot of different stuff you can use, um, but these are working for me and it's what I have. So use what you have. There also are, these two are two of the newer colors because these are the satin paints. They come in gloss, they come in metallics and um, pearls. So if you have some of those, uh-oh, Kirby's in trouble. She's been venturing out of her, um, her, her, um, she has a collar that like, uh-oh, she's in trouble. She was eating. Sorry, babe. <laughs> oh, but we need a center color. So let's go with, um, what do I want to make this with? 
The other one I did with yellow and white. And I think I'm going to go with yellow. So we're just going to do basic mandala shapes to create flowers. And I'm really new at this, you guys, so I'm, I'm very much a beginner. So a mandala basically is a circle. And you follow a pattern. And as you create, you start in the center and you work your way out. And as you get there, we're going to try and make the shapes into flower shapes, so into petal shapes, right? So I think the six petal flower is the easiest way to go. I've made them, like I was playing around with a five petal flower, which I really like, but I couldn't get it to be so that I could tell you what to do. So I'm going to take this, um, let's see, the second biggest from the bottom. So the, not the smallest, but the second one. And we're just going to make a yellow dot for our center. And then I'm going to take one of my dotting tools and I'm going to go with the smallest one. Actually, that is not the smallest one. So the middle size and the smaller dot of the middle size. And I'll go in. Look, I am not a professional at this at all. I'm very much a beginner. But you want to, and generally if you're doing like a mandala, you would have grid lines on the surface so we would make lines. So I'm just going to use the clock. So go 12, 6, 3, 9. And then I think I could definitely, I could probably fit three more in there. So let's see, I'm going to try it. One, two, and you just don't want them to touch, so I'm, I probably uh, should have just done two, but look, this is working out better. No, I don't like it. I mean, it looks fine, but I'm going to just, since it's the first thing I have on the page, I'm going to try and take it off. Look how simple that was. Just use the butt wipe. But once we get started, it gets harder to wipe stuff off. But I'm going to try that again. And I'm going to go down to my, let's see. I'll use the same size. Actually, this might be the, the size up. So again, I'm just going to go 12, 6. And I'm not supposed to be touching. Okay. So that one's super close. I think I'm just going to put one more in between those and then I'm gonna go down I'm gonna go to the smaller size and do one more row of yellow in between those dots with a bit smaller dot And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's going to be eight. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's eight. So I'm going to make this blue, right? So I'm going to start with the darkest blue. I don't even know if I want to put the darkest blue. I'm going to go with the, the three, the medium. Okay, and we're going to go... This is, it's not easy to tell you what to do because I would just wing it. So I'm going to take the biggest dotting tool and make a dot in between the last two yellow dots. Oops. Try not to touch. Get close, but don't touch. You want to see black. And then I'm going to go with the bigger, so I'm going to use this, probably the blue one. And there's going to be eight petals, which I don't really want to make eight petals, so I'm going to have to figure out how to make six petals next time. We'll do this one with eight. Um, the same color, and maybe I'll go with the red. I think I'm going to do the red right above those blue ones. 
and try to line them up. I mean, it kind of helps if you start with the top, bottom, and right and left sides because then you can evenly space the middle one between them, you know? All right, and those are going to be our petals. So I'm going to go into the next color blue and we're going to dot. Um, it's called Walking the Dots. And I'm not the best at it. And again, the trick is you really want to keep the dots close together. I'm going to start with a smallish dot. So the, this kind of greenish blue I'm going to use. And go, see, look, it's, well, it's crooked. Um, just going to go around the right side of the dot first. And they're gradually getting smaller. Put one at the top and then just walk it around. But it should stay snug, like close to the blue dot but not touching it. A little bit of black should show through and in between each of those. So it takes a little practice and the thing is though you can't really mess up too bad. It'll still like that looks pretty I only did half but now I'm going to switch to the next size, so the other end of this, and do the other sides because I already made the biggest dot. So if I want it to walk down, I just start at the next. Oops. See, I kind of got I get away from it. You want it to be close. And I'm not sure, like, when these start touching, it kind of looks funky to me, like I'm not a huge fan. I'll show you what I mean. Right here, I don't like if those are going to overlap. Um, okay, we did them all. Now, we're going to need to fill in in those black areas, but I'm not sure what color. I'm going to go to my light 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 blue and maybe I'll use white but here's the thing I'm gonna put the light blue I'm gonna put a dot maybe yellow now I think I'm just gonna use the light blue and put a dot here I could actually walk this up to the top I don't know if we'd get a, all right, I got them all, right? But you could walk this up to the top, but I don't think I want to. I'm going to go up to the next, I'm going to go to this guy and put it right above. Oop, that's a little big. It's a little too big. Shoot. Ah, uh, I'm going to go for it now. It's too late. And this might not get posted either. I have been very, I've been po um, creating videos and not posting them like crazy. It's just bad. I, I don't know why I'm like all of a sudden super self-conscious or something's going on. So now I'm on the, it's the biggest ball tool and I'm just going to go two dots. Oh, it didn't even fit. You going for a walk, babe? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to try and come back this way. Fill that space. I'm filming. They call me Crafty McCrafter. I don't know what he's saying. You're on camera. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty though. It has a petal effect to it. I'm not gonna hate. I'm not hating that. I'm not hating it. Now the only problem is what color. I'm gonna put a little one right in between those of this color. So I'm pulling that light blue color into the center. I like it. 
All right, is that filled up enough? I feel like right in here I could probably put another... I think it's good, although, eh, what the heck. I think that's better. All right, I think that's done. We're gonna leave that, that's a nice looking flower. And you could just go around it with white. You, there's so much you could do, you know? So now I have to get, and I didn't even use the darkest blue. So basically three colors. I'm gonna go with three colors of pink this time. Let's go with, I have this, I'm not gonna use the darkest, darkest color. I like this raspberry. Let's see, bubblegum raspberry, and I have, this is hydrangea. I mean, they're kind of close. Let's see. I like it. I like it, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to use these. These three. And I'm going to do a yellow center again, since I have it out here. Let's go um, down here. And this time I'm going to make my dots that go around the center smaller than those. I'm going to try anyway. Try and make them really small. And again, I'm just starting it. 6 and 12, 3 and 9, and then, uh-oh, trying to fit two more in between without touching. Ah, not bad. All right, now I'm going to do a, hmm, I'm going to stick with yellow, and I'm going to just bump up a size and go... in between so right where the two dots in the first row kinda you know what I mean it's not rocket science I don't want to zoom in too much guys because ugh, too close see that totally touched I don't like that it stinks it stinks when I do that alright now I'm gonna do pinks so I have a light a medium and a dark pink. These are all Americana or Ceram Coat craft paints. And I'm going to try and switch it up. I'm not going to try and do the same exact thing I just did. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to start with the medium again. No the darkest. I'm going to start with the darkest, so let's see. I think I want to do... Hmm. This is the other end of the biggest tool. The biggest dotting tool it's the smaller end of it. And I'm touching. See, I go too fast. That looks pretty. And then I'm going to go every other one. And I'm going to go with this littler tool. So every other one, I'm going to go right above it. I hope this works. One. I should get six. Two. Maybe it'll be eight. Three, I think it's going to be eight, four, definitely eight. Oh no, maybe five, six. It's six, yay! That's what I wanted to do. And I touched that one again. Dang it. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing we just did. I'm going to take the maybe, um, I think I'm going to go with. I think just medium. So I'm, with the biggest dotting tool, I'm just going to go with the medium pink and just put a dot right above the bottom, the smaller dot to kind of line that up. And then we're going to walk these around to create a petal, I hope. So I'm just flipping to the other side, the smaller end now, and I'm just going to go try to keep it snug up against and make it down to 
Oops. I don't want to touch, but I... I'm fast. I just move too fast. Until you get really good at this. Take your time and try not to make them touch. But if they do, it still looks like a flower. Yay! Now I'm going to do the same thing with the... Okay, so I'm going to go... Hmm. I think I'm going to stay with the same size. No, I should go up a size. Hmm. This is like not quite the next size up. I'll try this one. So where are we with the, mm, we're going to go with the lightest pink. And right above where we just did it, again, another row. And I'm, I can move my, I can put this over here, so don't worry. That's just kind of where I'm, I wanted to see where I was going to go with my leave, but it's not written in stone. Now I'm starting with the biggest dot dotting tool side and I'm going to walk these down I want to eh, yeah I think I'm going to do that so it's just going to be three one two three and this one might even be just two wow they're too big and Kirby what did you do what did you do wrong? She she ventures past her um, boundary, and um, Kirby's a uh, shorty, so she's a Shih Tzu Yorkie mix, and I think they're like hunters or something. Like she gets on a smell, and you can't get her attention. Like she will not listen. I think that's looking pretty. So let me look. I think I want to do one more row. Nah, I think I'm going to leave it. And we're going to have to move the... I think I'm going to put the leaf on that side. And then I'll leave that one off. All right, so this is going to be up here. I'm going to just leave them smaller because I just don't want to mess it up. The next one I'm going to do is purple. So I have a couple different purple colors. The really light purple is very um, thick. And I don't want to use the darkest purple. So I'm going to go, maybe I'll go with these. The magenta, I don't know if magenta is considered a pink or a purple, but it is what it is. I'm going to use it. Oh, but first we need to use yellow, so let me get that back for a sec. And make the center with yellow right here. And again, I'm going to use the clock scenario that we did and twelve six three nine and I don't think I can fit two more in there I'd have to go smaller so I'm just gonna try and make it fatter all right I think I'm going to put a little tiny dot in between them. Shouldn't be touching, so I rush too much, so this side, it looks squished. Alright, and then, what colors are we going to do? Purple, so... This purple is really pretty soft purple, but you know what? I think I might mix it with uh, 
something I have this color float I don't think that's gonna it's like water but maybe not I'm gonna try it it's a little too thick so instead of water maybe it'll keep the pigment better than water would I don't know all right let's try it so I'm gonna go with hmm So basically over the big dot, you're putting a, a purple. And then how do I want to shape this design? I love this pansy lavender color. But what about the magenta? I guess go to magenta. It's not really a purpley color, but it, it'll work. I hope. Uh-oh, kind of got me. Let's see. Um... Let's see here. This time I'm not going to put it above that dot. I'm going to put it to the side of it. And I'm going to go with the, let's see, the, the shape. Maybe I should bump it up. It seems like I'm going to keep it this shape, this size. So right in between those two purples, I guess this is going to be an eight petal one. Uh-huh. Ooh. I love it. Hmm. I don't know what I should do now. I'm going to start with a small... Okay, honey. A smaller tool. He's a walkaholic now. He walks every single day, like about three miles, which is awesome. I do every other day. I do three to four every other day. But I also do um, toning type exercises because um, I have sciatica and it really has helped me to strengthen my core. See, this is where I don't like it. it when they touch, um, we'll see. I don't want these dots to overlap in the center here, so I'm kind of not going to walk them all the way down. I don't want them to bump into each other. But if I were keeping them, see, I only got two there, because that's because I'm a lopsided dotter. Bye bye. I really don't think you can tell. We're going to have to put a dot in between those. I think it might need to be another like purple or yellow. But we're going to go to this pansy lavender and do another row. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know. I wish there were, see this is, I'm a beginner at this, so I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. And so that's the thing. And maybe this is geometry, and I'm not a mathematician. So I'm using the biggest end of the biggest dotting tool. And I'm just putting it right above the last beginning of the petal. And we're going to flip it and go and walk this down now. Maybe I can just fit like three dots, two or three, because. I must be using too big of a stylus or I'm I should be able to fit more dots but I guess my initial ones my petals are too close together so that's the science of it that I don't understand yet kind of like I was in the beginning when I first started art journaling and I didn't understand why you put down all that cool background stuff like the collage work and all and then you cover it up with gesso um, it's, it's a little frustrating. I think I'll put, maybe I'll put this color. Um, 
Hmm. I'm going to use this color and put it in between. Up. Oh, see, that's too big. Got to go to a smaller size dot because I really don't want it to touch. So underneath the big pink, the big magenta dots in between the light purple ones. So that's there and then I think I'm definitely going to do another row but um, of the light purple because I want it to be, I think I'm going to go bigger. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Because I'm losing the shape, it, the petal's getting flatter instead of rounder and bigger. So I may be doing it in the opposite direction or something's going on. Not sure. Um, so I'm going to walk those now. Got to grab my biggest dot and just put three and they don't even fit. Three doesn't quite fit with that biggest tool. Because I'm, they're touching each other. If two only fit on the other side, that's okay. It's flowery enough, isn't it? It looks like flat. It looks like a petal, right? I'm just saying that's I'm sticking with that. Alright, good enough. Now let's see if it feels like it needs anything. I'm going to move this out of the way. Kind of, I want to, this pink one. Hmm. See, I'm not sure if I should be adding the yellow to the outside either. We're going to do top dots as well. Um, all right, so for the butterfly, I'm going to use orange and yellow, and I'm going to do red for his body. So the first thing I want to use is this orange. I have a fluorescent orange, neon orange, but let's do this. And I'm going to put a decent sized dot in the middle of maybe two dots this time, right? Maybe even bigger than that. Here. It's kind of a translucent paint. And I'm going to, oopsie, drop that. And then I'm going to go to this one. Kind of want to make two. And red is, let's see, the next color would be. I didn't do this on my other one, so I'm changing it. Uh, I don't I wish I hadn't done that. I think I'm gonna wipe it off. Hmm. No, I'm gonna leave it. Let's leave it. And then I said I was gonna do a different um just take this off. Now you've got, I'm just moving it so that you guys don't see it, but you don't want to mess anything up, so just be careful. Uh, but that looks kind of cute. Just three leaves. Three leaves is plenty. So then for the, I'm going to go around the whole thing with just the same size dots, which isn't the easiest for me either. I'm um, probably going to do them. Um, with the medium sized dotting tool and the smaller end of that. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to just start dotting. I'll probably put two at a time. Like, try and keep them close together. Am I zoomed in? I'm just following right along the um, chalk line that I made. And trying to keep them close but not touching 
And then all I do, which I really love the technique that I did for my peace sign and um, the, um, oops, see that's kind of far away. I like them to be close. Um, the peace sign and, what was I saying? The picture frame that I created with just a bunch of this shape flowers all over it. Then I filled in the entire background with green dots. You just start with the biggest tool and fill in and then as there's as the space is available space gets smaller you switch to smaller and smaller tools and it's cool it's a cool effect it's fun to do so that's how I filled in this little guy's wings with yellow um, I think I'm gonna finish this too And you see, you can see that I left some um, chalk pencil there, but that's okay because at the end you can just erase everything. Um, for the body, I basically used this red, which I just got this. Where is it? Mm, it's by Decor. It's called a gloss enamel. And it's called, it's a red, true red. So I'm just going to do a uh, walk the dots for his body. So I'm going to start with like, that's too big. I'll just go with the blue one and put a head and I'm going to walk them down. I think I'm going to stop with that one. And then hopefully I'll be able to continue that with the biggest dotting tool and the red. And then I'll stop there and grab the next size dotting tool, like I flipped it. That's cool. And then I gave them a little antenna, but I'm going to wait till that's dry. So for the yellow, you're just going to take... I always shake my paint because that seems to be working for me. The texture and the consistency is kind of good, so... Um, I think I'm just going to use the biggest dotting tool, the biggest head that I have. And just like I said, just start making dots all over the place, not touching. You don't want to touch the orange or the yellow. So we're just placing dots in where there's enough room to, oops not touch and I won't push down hard if I think I'm gonna spread the paint so I think I can go to the next size down pretty soon because the see how the spaces are getting there's less space there so I'm just gonna flip this tool around and use the smaller end and start filling in some of the bigger areas like that and again, I'm, I feel like I'm not pressing down all the way and it helps me control the size of the dot. Um, see, I touched the orange. I prefer not to. Now, I think I'm getting, a, I'm gonna go to the next size down, the middle dotting tool and um, try that. See, I can really control the size of the dot. You, so if I put the biggest one and then walk over, you can put three or four even smaller ones without touching the others. I just love this technique. It's so fun. It's like a puzzle. And dotting in general has, I found it very um, chill and meditative and, you know, the only problem, and it is, it happens to be that I don't understand 
what to do. So that part can be a little bit frustrating. I'm going to go even smaller to my tiniest tool and see if I can get in here um, and make even smaller dots. You can go blind doing this tiny work, but I think we're, you get the point. Um, and I think he can be done, you know, I don't have to get carried away. Love it. He's super cute. Let's see. So now we're going to do the green. And I'm just going to use my, um, I did use three colors for the green too, because the, the highlight and the shading colors, I chose to use these two, the lighter and the darkest. And then the middle value, I did the whole stem. So we can change the shape of the stems or the, which way they're going. I kind of like the flow of these. The last one I did, they crisscrossed, so you could do that. But let's just go with this. It's a nice, open, even. Um, the middle value, the middle tool with the biggest end, I think I'm going to use. And probably just two dots at a time, if that, because I want them to appear the same size. You can go smaller. If you like them smaller, you could go bigger if you want them bigger. But this seems to appeal to my eye. And that's why I wanted it to be something. Uh, this is definitely inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. I love the mandalas, but I am um, drawn to, I think I shared this little guy. Oh, oh, look, I did one of these on a disc, and I think my dragonfly is too small, so I'm going to redo it. But I, I'm going to do that on the rock. Anyway, I like to, I feel like it's painting with dots. So you're creating a scene out of these dots. So, all right, now I'm going to go, I'm wondering, do I want to make my uh, leaf bigger and kind of overlap? Mm, I walked it down. Let's see. I'm going to switch sides and see if I can. I mean, that looks cool, but I'm not sure if I, if they'll even be seen. Hmm. I think they're so small. All right, let me just put. So basically you're going to do this to all your stems. So I can go off camera and finish, but you know what? I think I'll just go ahead and get, I'll do one. I'll finish one. And on the last one, I outlined the leaf with that color too. So you can see that. But for this one, I'm going to use the dark green and the light green to create the whole thing. So I'm just going to use these spots that I have out here, a little dark green and the light green, leaf green, and I think this is called sour apple, yep, and I'm going to use the same, the big end of the medium dotting tool, and for the highlight side of the leaf, I'm going to just dot the top side of the leaf, so we're, say the sun was shining from above, I'm going to create dots in the same way we just did on the butterfly. I'm going to fill this whole side of the leaf with just different size dots. So see, I'm kind of losing the, um, the middle vine, the vein. So again, I'm going to go, I'm going to start here and go up. I might go a little further. I make it bigger and just start dotting all around the side of the leaf until you fill it in. So that's what I did. 
I'm not sure which one I like better yet, but it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. That's what my mom used to say. Um, so that just means half of us will like it one way and half the other. And there is no right or wrong. It's personal preference. And I just figured I'd give you the option and see what you come up with. And that's the thing. I love seeing you guys work when you post things on my Facebook page. I need some more of that mid value. I don't I think I'm gonna keep them the same color and walk them all the way up as well. So I'm just gonna fill in with the smaller end of my stylus. And um I figured this was a good work place to go with our art journal page this month because um, most of the pages so far are done mixed media style, Sarah style, the way I've now decided that I like to um, art journal. And that's fine because I love it. I'm very happy that I found my style. But I still love, 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 love to try new things and wanted to incorporate that into the art journal so that I know what I was doing this year. When you look back at it, you can say, oh yeah, I remember I was dotting. So I'm going to take it all the way down the center and then I'll do the same thing with all my leaves and then I'll be right back and we're going to do top dots. So let me. I have to let this dry a little bit and I'm just going to add a little bit of um, maybe some uh, pearlescent paints on top of some of the other dots to kind of make them shine. And that'll be it. I'll be back. Okay, so I just decided I wanted to fill in a little bit more. So I'm making these little spriggles. I don't know what they are. <laughs> and I'm starting with the lightest color green on the tip. And I'm walking out like three of those. That's it. Then I go to the biggest ball tool to the middle green and walk that down. Maybe like four. Um, couple, one more maybe. That's good. And then I'm going to fill it in the rest of the way with the darkest green, which I'm kind of don't want to hit myself or fling the bottle. Um, the smaller side of the... It's because I'm rushing now, but... Um, and that's it. So I just thought that added a little extra filler. And um, you could make a little like line for the where the um, butterfly is flown. I, I didn't do it, and I'm, I'm not sure that I will. That would probably just be in white. I think I'm going to do it. I put out all this white when I was working on the other piece. I think this is the satin. I'm um, just going to kind of pull the top layer off of it, kind of move it out of the way because I, I have a fan on and it has been sitting. And I go to the middle tool and it's the smaller end and just kind of make these all the same size but super tiny. And they're not that close together. I for some reason have a hard time getting them close. What is this, like a flight path? A little flight path line. And I'm also going to put some antenna on the butterfly with this little tool. And I decided to curve it in this up oh, big dot. Dang it. Oh, that's good. I'm just gonna wipe that off a little. Try and keep them all the same size. 
It isn't it isn't easy or necessary if they get bigger. I'm just dotting off the page. And then I'm going to take I have a little liner brush somewhere. I'm going to look for it here. Well, this is a spotter. I hope I can do it. I want to do it with that red paint. Oopsie. Oh, I got red all over everything. Um, just going to get it working here because it's been sitting. And I'm just going to paint on, I think I'll flip it, and I'll paint on the antenna. Uh, this isn't watery enough. I, when you do line work, you really need your paint. Um, I always say the consistency of ink. Make it inky, right? So I'm going to go up here and up here. And that's not really super thin, but I'm going to dot the tip of it. And I think you'll get the point. Um, what size dot? This one. This is the same size that we used for the little flight path. And now we're going to do some top dots. I think it's dry enough to kind of, um, you just see, look, I got red paint all over everything. You can also take off the lines, but I want to wait for everything to dry. I get very impatient and I don't want to wreck anything. Like that line, it'll drive me crazy because I can see the chalk line, but I think it's cute. Um, you could also put little something in the corner. I just did these kind of walk some dots in white in the corners, but for top dots, I like to use um, these. These are the metallics. So I'm going to put some fresh. How about on the orange, I use gold. I don't have a, like a, um, metallic orange. I have gold, and I like gold. I think I'm going to do that. There's not that much orange on here, just on the butterfly. I think it's dry enough to do this, but, you know, because I'm hasty, I think I'm going to go with the red on the biggest one. And then I'm going to go with the blue size on the second. And this one. Cool. Um, how about the yellow? I think I'm going to do it on the yellow too. Um, the biggest dotting tool should cover it. And just... I don't think the end of the tip is dry, uh, clean. It's not really falling. The paint isn't falling off there. But it could be my yellow is not dry. It could be a million things. That looks good. I just want it to kind of bead up into like a an oval shape around like a not like a Hershey kiss I want it to round off sometimes the it'll peak that looks good and then since I did all the centers the same color I kept it simple this time instead of switching around that looks good but look at the red the red is a gloss and man it really makes a difference when you use that um, so I have a couple different purples. This is called Twilight Blue, actually. I think that might look really cool. So I am going to, I'm just gonna put it out here. I'm not gonna need very much. It's actually really bluer than purple. I'm gonna put it on the darkest purple color. So this one. And just see what it looks like. Oops. Maybe just the top three. I don't know. As I'm sticking it in the paint, it's 
definitely too, it's really thick. It's not the ideal consistency, but it's just a pop of color. It's kind of like adding stickles to polymer clay. It looks cool, but I definitely want to put something on that brighter magenta color. What was that called again? I don't know. It was called something. I think I'm going to put maybe like a, a, a pink to calm it down, but this is supposed to be purple. So maybe like the really light lavender. Ooh, I have a light blue. Um, a light blue pearl. This one, it's called Ice Blue Pearl. So let's see where that is. I don't even know. I have palettes out all over the place. So I'm going to put that on top of the Hmm, I think I am going to put it on there. I love that color though. Am I zoomed in? I don't even know. And maybe it's better that you see it from a distance and you can see if there's a difference. Oh man, I was a little bit zoomed in. I love that top dot. And I think I am going to use that. I could use a more this color, like um, Peacock Pearl. I think I'm going to use that on the outside dot. So this is more like a green blue. Maybe I should do three of them again. And that might be it though. You don't always need... There's one in here I'm going to do. This little guy is the same color as that. So I'll put it here too. kind of lost the light blue. I think I'm going to put it on these two. So now you, you just use your own discretion and add anything you want. You know, um, Kristen actually uses Swarovski crystals. I just watched a snowflake tutorial that she did where she put a bunch of different, a bunch of different Swarovski crystals. Um, so, but it just gives it dimension. Um, I think I have a green that I haven't used yet. Metallic green. And, because I think I'll put that on like the big, they're probably not even dry yet though. These guys, up, they're kind of like buds. But what do I want to put on this? I think I want to put this one. I like this one. No, not that one. This one. It's called Rose or Rosa. No, Rose. Don't ask me to speak Spanish. I'm absolutely terrible at it. All right, let's see if this blue one will fit. Yeah. If I don't push down too hard. It's pretty much the same color as that. But it'll just give it a little oomph. Maybe we'll put it around... Hmm. Nope, I'm going to use this really super soft one. I have a super soft, um, I have so many. So, anywho, so that's it, guys. Um, do you think I should put something in the corners? Oops, like I did the other one. I'm going to come up a little bit. I don't know. I don't think it needs it. This one I filled in a lot more with other stuff. But you can tell, I'll zoom back in, that I splashed. I'm a splashy um, daughter, evidently. And um, I'm just taking off the... Uh, I can... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't think and do this, at, uh, talk and do this at the same time. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to probably touch up some of these areas that I splashed color with black. Man, that is looking good. The blue flower is looking really, really, really good. I got to do something with this guy before we go. 
Maybe it's that color. Maybe it's this. I think it should be purpler though. I have a couple purples. I have um, this one, which I think is the blue. I didn't. I did use it. I'm gonna. I'll put it on the other ones too. Um. No. Why can't I make decisions? I think I'm gonna use it for. This is that darker pink color. Yeah. What the heck. It actually looks very nice. I might be uh, up a size too big for the top dot because you, the idea is you want to see the two dots. You don't want to cover the entire thing. That looks good. And then I want to put something on the, um, the light purple. And I do have a light purple. This is called Purple Pearl. And it's super light. What the heck is that noise? I don't know. I'm plugged in, so aliens are attacking me. I'm going to do, yes, we're going to do this light purple with that. So my biggest, this, the biggest dotting tool. Can't even really see it. Maybe it would be better to, let me tr I'll try one with this color. I think I want to do that instead. So I'm going to go to this one because it, it ties it together better and it's really thick so I'm just kind of winging it. It's not really making a circle and I'm going to gently try and get that off there because everything's not completely dry but I think that worked and then this can go here and if it's not dry enough it probably won't stick something is making noises in my house who knows it could be a phone all right look I have red all over me too unbelievable that looks pretty fresh so as long as I didn't stick my hand in this we're good I think it looks pretty um, before I, you know, we, go, we should sign it and we could write May, you know, but um, I will put a top dot. I have to find that green color because I have a green that I haven't used. Actually, this is it and it's, it's not green. It's hummingbird and it's more of a, I think I like it. How did I get all that red all over me? Um, there we go. On all three of the lightest colors. Um, I got to write May somewhere. I don't know how I keep getting red all over me. One of these must have red all over it and I keep rubbing it on myself. So that was it. I think you guys should definitely give dotting a try. Sorry that line was just bugging me. But see there's other colors. Don't you have to use a clean Q-tip or else the metallic. I must have wiped the metallic and now it rubbed all over. But this I could probably... These dots aren't completely dry yet, and I should not be doing this. Kids, don't do it, kids, because you'll smudge it. Oh, God. But I like it. So, we're going to, I'm going to write May. I could probably dot it, but I could also just write it. Um, and I'm probably going to add a couple more top dots to a few more like these pink ones probably and that's it all right you guys I love it thanks for watching